Lawrence Joseph Ellison, born August 17th, 1944, is an American business investor who is the co-founder and chief technology officer of Oracle Corporation. As of 2022, he has a net worth of $97 billion and was listed by Bloomberg Billionaires Index as the 10th wealthiest person in the world, all without a college degree. Now, 10 things you may not know about Larry Ellison. Number 10, his own piece of paradise. Larry Ellison is so wealthy, he owns an island in Hawaii. Well, not all of it. Larry owns 98% of the island of Lanai. 87,000 acres of the total 90,000 acres were purchased by Ellison in 2012 for a reported $300 million. The previous owner was David Murdoch, chairman of Dole, who had reportedly been asking $1 billion for the island. The island is quite secluded compared to the other Hawaiian islands, but Larry plans to change all that. He wants to turn Lanai into a tourist destination. Number 9 raised by his mother's aunt and uncle. Larry was born in New York City to an unwed Jewish mother. His biological father was an Italian-American U.S. Army pilot. After Larry contracted pneumonia at the age of nine months, his mother decided it was best to give him away to her aunt and uncle for adoption. He didn't meet his biological mother again until he was 48 years old. Number 8. The Origin of Larry's Last Name The last name of Ellison comes from Larry's adopted father, Louis Ellison. It was chosen to honor his point of entry into the United States, Ellis Island. Louis Ellison was a government employee who made a small fortune in Chicago real estate, only to lose it all during the Great Depression. Number 7. Dropped out of college, not once, but twice. Larry attended South Shore High School in Chicago and was later admitted as a pre-med student to the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. At the university, he was named Science Student of the Year, but he would withdraw without taking final exams after his sophomore year because his adoptive mother had just passed away. After spending the summer of 1966 in California, he then attended the University of Chicago for one term where he studied physics and mathematics and also encountered computer design for the first time. In 1966, at age 22, he moved to Berkeley, California, never obtaining a college degree. Number six, a self-taught programmer. After moving to California, Ellison spent a decade working at different jobs. However, he would use his spare time to learn how to program. He taught himself by studying books and papers, eventually leading him to his first programming job at Amdell Corporation. Number 5. Tennis Enthusiast Larry's enthusiasm for tennis led him to purchasing the Indian Wells Tennis Garden and the BMP Paribus Open for $100 million. He has since invested over 100 million more into the club located in California's Coachella Valley. He is committed to providing tennis players, fans, and visitors with the best experience anywhere in the world. It is now being referred to as a tennis paradise. Want to hear more about entrepreneurs that have succeeded without a college degree? Subscribe to our channel, where our goal is to educate, encourage, and entertain zero-degree entrepreneurs just like you. Now back to the countdown. Number four, thrills and spills. Larry Ellison has a fondness for some extreme sports, including yacht racing, mountain biking, and even body surfing. This adrenaline junkie has sustained many injuries along the way, including a shattered elbow from a high-speed cycling crash. Number three, shooting for an NBA team. Larry has taken his shot to buy an NBA team on more than one occasion. 
In 2010, he put in an offer for the Golden State Warriors. Reports indicated that he was, quote, close to buying the team until he wasn't. The following year, he attempted to buy the New Orleans Hornets, but was turned down. Number 2. Personal Pay Cut In 2009, Larry went from making $1 million a year in salary to just $1 a year in salary. This insane reduction in compensation was not because Larry was bad at his job. On the contrary, it was because he was so good at his job and he's made so much money, he no longer felt he should take a salary. But legally, he must be compensated. So $1 it was. Nine down, one to go. Which were the most surprising to you? Were there any interesting things that we missed? Comment down below. Number one, sue for a view. When a few of his neighbor's trees were obstructing an amazing view of the San Francisco Bay, Larry did what any eccentric billionaire would do. He took his neighbors to court. They settled out of court, agreeing to the removal of three redwoods and one 80-year-old acacia. The moral of the story? Money may not grow on trees, but if you throw enough money at the trees, the trees sure can disappear. This has been 10 things you may not know about Larry Ellison. If you would like to suggest a zero degree entrepreneur for a future episode, or you yourself are a zero degree entrepreneur and would like to share your story, please go to zerodegreeentrepreneur.com.